Marco Hazel with TSL Comic Book Combo here with publisher and creator of Legend of the Matamaji, Eric Dean Seaton. Uh, it's been a full year since you initially published your graphic novel. It's been critically acclaimed. Now we're here at New York Comic Con once again, and what's the year been like for you? It's been a fantastic year, and it helped uh, from, the, um, from your guys' uh, first interview a year ago, and it's grown from there, and we also added a live action short to the book. Uh, the word is really getting out, and we're really doing well in sales, and it's just a lot of fun. And we're actually working on two more books now. Indeed. Now, it, it, it's everything seems to be moving really bad for you, normally that it otherwise would. Would you credit that to the product? Would you credit that to your uh, live short? What would you credit that to? I would say it's a combination of both. I think the live action short, uh, because it's the first scene in book one, and it's, so you're like, wow, the book starts off like that. I think that has a good effect on it. And I think it's the product, because people are getting invested in the product, and the word is getting out, they're really starting to read it and really enjoy all three books. Okay. Now, earlier we were speaking, and you said that you had loads more uh, media attention yeah, this true. year than you had last year. Can you tell me what that's been about, been uh, like? Yeah, we have, we're doing con TV today. We have like three other interviews today. I, um, I just did a uh, panel, a uh, fantastic diverse panel. I have two more tomorrow. Um, I think as the word has spread about the books, it has helped um, open up the world for people to see us. And the one thing we always say about independence is that people want to see a full art, they want to see something last. Because we have all three books, I think people are seeing that. They're seeing their books last. They're seeing it. Okay, now, Earlier, we, we, it's, it's very hard for any independent publisher. Uh, it's seemingly especially hard for publishers of African descent. Can you tell me what that experience has been like for you? Uh, it's extremely hard. Um, these lovely ladies are uh, here, hopefully looking at the books right now. But it's also um, hard to, um, to, to for, for, they don't, they don't, they're surprised to see it. They're surprised to see an independent. But the characters that they're, they're climbing for are 40 and 50 years old. Uh -huh. So it's really something that people should embrace. Uh, I think you're just surprised seeing it rise in the wild. Now, I, again, I, I we were speaking earlier, and uh, I remember seeing a, uh, a black-owned uh, comic book imprint last year. Very well done book. Excellent art. Excellent characters. The brothers that were running it were on point. And then, that was at Comic-Con. Then I saw the same company at Special Edition, and the owners weren't out front anymore. Almost as if to say, we don't want to be known as a black book. Can you tell me about that phenomenon? I think that's a bad thing, because what is a black book? You know, like, we're all races, all creeds, and all colors, uh, and um, have all diverse issues. You know, my characters are saving the world. They're not saving the girls out of the neighborhood, they're saving the world. So to say something's not something, um, it's really narrow-minded thinking of what is that thing. It can only be one thing. But as a TV director, I always remember nobody ever, uh, people would always compare all the black children, but nobody ever compared Seinfeld to Married with Children. Why is that? Yeah. And when a new black show comes on, they always compare it to what else some other black show, as if we can only have one. Yes. We can have all types of everything, because that's the type of people that we are. And what do you hope uh, is in the immediate future for Legend of the Mass um, I hope to continue selling books and the word spread. I'd love to do more shorts, maybe uh, uh, do like a series so people can really get a message. But they're all related to the books, and that's where it all starts. So as long as people are invested in the story, I'll keep telling them. Is there anything I may have neglected to ask you that you'd like our readership to know? Um, I just think people didn't know how to get to the books. Uh, go to Amazon, you ask from the Barnes & Noble, go to the Book Convention, or go to our website which has all the information, which is legendofthemantamaji.com. Oh, Amen. Great to see you again, brother. Great to see you as always. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.